bless. So it's our opportunity to bless other people. Tonight we're hearing from law enforcement agencies helping one another as they continue to recover from Hurricane Ida. Many impacted communities have received help from all over the country. And now law enforcement groups are leaning on each other to keep officers going. As our Victor Georges and Chief Photographer Justin Taro show us, their camaraderie is going a long way. Here in Morgan City, the Sheriff's Department tells me they're feeling blessed, they stayed out of Hurricane Ida's path, and now that they're able to, they can help those in need in impacted areas. More than a dozen pallets filled with essential supplies loaded onto a flatbed truck, secured and ready to help people in St. John the Baptist Parish. This isn't the first trip from St. Mary Parish to areas needing a helping hand. Grand Isle, twice. Uh, this will be our third time coming here. We went to Terrebonne Parish a couple of times. We made two loaves in Terrebonne, plus we went to Terrebonne and cooked. Sheriff Blaze Smith tells me right now is their time to help. With uh, Hurricane Andrew, we knew how it was to sit there a couple of days and not have any type of help. And I think that encourages us that when something like this happens, a natural disaster, that we're going to reach out and help our brothers in blue. Boxes upon boxes upon boxes arrived at a training facility in St. John the Baptist Parish, an area needing all the help it can get. Raise your hand if you got some kind of damage. Cars, you lost everything too, right? Sheriff Mike Tragg is making sure his deputies and other first responders helping with the recovery efforts can rest and recharge. They're taking care of y'all, right? Appreciate y'all. A space is set up where first responders and their families can get supplies, including fruits and vegetables, water and food, and toilet paper. Supplies that are now in high demand in these communities. From sheriffs all over the state of Louisiana, sheriffs in Mississippi, private businesses, people just helping, making sure the deputies are taken care of. Sheriff Trigg recognizes there's still a long road ahead. No one should go hungry. No one should go without water. Now housing and other things, those things are going to take time. Now the department feels overwhelmed with donations and grateful for the support. If we can ever do anything to repay these people or if they ever need us, we will be there. We will help them because we appreciate them so much. Aside from feeling thankful for all the help, Lieutenant Christy Chauvin says they've become closer as a department. And we have learned to appreciate each other. And we all have become so close and we really, really are a family now. All the supplies that were once on this flatbed are now being sorted through in what's usually used as a shooting range for officers to train. From there, they'll be distributed to those that need it the most as they recover from Hurricane Ida. In Laplace, Victor Georges, KTC TV3.